Hi, I'm in Malibu Creek State Park by Malibu. This guy here, this is a blue elderberry bush. All right, you know the blue elderberry because look at these pretty little berries. Okay, and they have a little white coating on them. Lick my finger and you see the little white coating comes off these little berries. And what's kind of cool about this plant, now this is uh, July 11th, so these are almost ripe. These here, right, they're kind of ripening. Here, they're ripening as well. All right, got some here, they'll ripen. We also have some flowers. Oh, here's some blue ones. Let's see if I find some flowers. As I look around this plant, here we go. You got the flowers. So we have almost uh, everybody here. Wow. Yeah, this is fantastic. All right. So this plant, so it's scientific name, Sambucus nigra. He's a subspecies, Cerulea. He goes by the common name of blue elderberry, or even a blue elder, all right? He's described as a coarse textured shrub, and you'll find him throughout the uh, western United States, California, Oregon, Washington, and then up to uh, lower Canada, but really just around the coast, all right? So he's a large deciduous shrub, this guy can grow about 30 feet tall and even 20 feet wide. Wow. And then we got that uh, coating on the berries. That's how you know this is a blue elderberry, right? But another way is look at the trunk here, okay? He's got this main trunk with all these offshoots and it just grows wild. If you grow this at home, I've got a better example over here. See how it's all kind of sprouting up here? So if you grow this at home, you got to cut those little offshoots off and prune them down during winter. It gets totally out of control. So the leaves here, all right, take a look at the leaves. Okay, they're hairless. They're pointed, you can see here. They're also serrated on the edges, and they're kind of tucked up like taco shells, almost like a sumac, or laurel sumac, okay? And they're about, uh, they could be six inches long. Usually they're only like two or three inches long, and about uh, two inches wide, all right? And the flowers, here we go. Got these creamy, colored flowers. Now typically they occur in May and June, and this is July, so that's kind of a treat. Get this little flat top cluster here. Okay, they're like umbel shaped, and they're, um, extend out these little rays from the stem. Okay, and the fruits, let's go back over here, take a look at the fruit our little berries here. All right, let's see if I find it. All right, here we go. The little fruits here, they're called droops. All right, they're really juicy. They're round. They're kind of bluish black. Okay, and they got that little powder on the outside of these guys. And inside each berry, probably get like uh, three to five little seeds okay so the flowers okay you could uh, make them into a tea if you want here's a flower and uh, you can also use the fruits you eat them raw or you can make them into a little jelly how about that now some people are a little they don't like it they get a little nauseous they eat the uh, berries, so I'm not going to eat one. Okay, Native Americans, they love this plant. 
they'd use the wood. It's a great wood. They make like uh, musical instruments out of the wood. Okay? Like flutes. Or little uh, clappers. Or whistles. And the uh, wood's a soft wood. It's called a twirling stick. Okay? And you can make fire by twirling this around. Old style. Make a little fire out of this plant. Okay? Now, typically it's an ornamental plant as well, but it's used for uh, natural landscaping and habitat restoration projects. And it's, you know, just amazing. I can't get over the main trunk and all the offshoots that come off this thing here. Wow. It's a great looking plant. Take a look at the bark of the main branch. Over here, I'll show you what she looks like. She's great looking bark. Okay, it's really hard thickety to get in here. Anyway, real scraggly bark. Look at that pattern coming down. These indentations, it's grayish bark flowing down. Wow, that's just amazing. And it peels off, right? Just like this guy here. In time, these little offshoots come up and they make this real ratty looking shrub of our elderberry. So, uh, it grows at home. You can shape it, prune it, and make it look like a really nice, pretty tree. But out here, in the wild, it just gets kind of crazy. And I love this, uh, these little reddish stems that come out as well. This uh, elderberry. It's a fantastic plant. All right. Well, there you go. It's our blue elderberry up in uh, Malibu Creek. How about that? Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.